Okay, guys, so right now, um, I have the Kubota up on the truck. I have my, uh, I, I, last night I just picked up my 12x12 pa pavers, and then I also got 4x8 of the charcoal pavers. Um, these will go under the trestle, and these are gonna go in the grass right next to the track. And then here is a 2x6x4, which it doesn't look like 4 feet, but it is 4 feet, so... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to load them up into um, the bucket and then I'll get to work. But um, I have to hurry up because it's going to rain very soon. And I want to get as much done um, as possible right now. So, Okay guys, so I got the um, these 12x12s in. Uh, I don't want to put too much weight in the bucket. But I'll get these ones later. But these are going to go over to the barn over there. So... That's what I'm going to do. I wonder if the tractor can lift this. Let's see. Here goes, guys. It looks like it's heavy, but I think it will work. Okay, so I got the um, 4x8 charcoal um, bricks. And then I got my 2x6x4 in here. And I'm going to put the... Um, so I just put them on the track right here, kind of like leaning this way, like that, so, and um, one thing I like about why it's wet, it's really wet outside, because I think it rained, I'm not really sure, last night, but um, the ground is really soft, and I can just step, cut, I'm going to cut this piece out, then this piece, and I can put my tiles down all the way under, but hopefully it doesn't rain, so. It's pretty gray out. It was blue out earlier. You can see some of the blue over there, but yeah. Okay, guys, finally, right now it is 7.04 p.m. And I'm finally done. And I'm so glad to be done. I've had some problems all day. And um, we just went with it. Wow. Through the camera lens, you can really see those blacks. It's actually kind of cool. Dirt. Get out. So we've um, screwed the feet down to the trestle. I put the bricks down. Um, this, <laughs> that looks funny. There's three up here. There's one there, I can see them. Those are just to keep the landscaping cloth down. And um, all the feet are screwed in. And um, there's three here, one there. They're all in. Hopefully this is all good. Those two are level. That th third one goes up just a tiny bit. It's not really supposed to, but you know, I got a little frustrated after a while. This one has been giving me problems all day. Like, I'll show you guys. So, if I take uh, my level, okay, to level the, tr the um, this out. Okay, so as you can see right here, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's level, okay? Over here, it should be level, but I'm not really sure still. Oh, wait, it's a little off, but almost level. But if you go in the middle, it's all the way at the edge. And look how much it needs to go up. It needs to go up that much. Seriously? So there's something wrong with the trestle. Um, it's probably because it's getting cold and, you know, wood does that when it's outside and stuff. So. I'm just gonna leave it, and um, my dad said to do that because, you know, in the summer it will get bigger, so, you know, it will keep moving around and stuff. So, my plan is, I've got sod there, got sod over there, I'm gonna be putting sod in tomorrow, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be putting dirt here, and I'll be laying my track sections there tomorrow, and finally I can be almost done. Um, Another thing right here is I'm taking all the grass that my tr track is going to go on all the way from there to here and I'm going to use it for the side of the railroad over there and over there if I have some extra. So kind of good idea is to use this grass and not just um, put the track over it and it would die anyway. So great idea that I that we had. Um, hopefully you liked today's video. Uh, I know it was really long or short. I didn't do, go into detail very much. Hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you later, guys.